So you want to integrate in the Philippines. Um, one of the first things you need to realize is you will always be a foreigner. Doesn't matter if you're there six months, six years, 60 years, you will always be a foreigner. Um, now, a foreigner in the Philippines is pretty much anybody that is not Filipino, um, but also some that are Filipino. <laughs> Uh, Chinois, for example, which is a very common phrase, is in relation to Chinese Filipinos. Chinese Filipinos have been there for at least 150 years, but they're still Chinois. They're not Filipinos. Um, and it goes on like that for everybody. You'll see in the newspaper, they will say, foreigner killed, foreigner involved in road accident, etc., I've seen it with a, an entire bus got wiped out. They were Iranians, but they were foreigners. That's the first bit of news you'll get is foreigners, then where they came from may follow later. Uh, same with people being uh, hurt or whatever. You say foreigner involved in an accident. The This also goes on even in uh, news stories relating to de deportations. Where I've seen it for a restaurant owner that had lined up his staff outside and put um, playing cards in their mouth out in the heat where they had to hold it straight for a period of time. Didn't do him any favors and he was a foreigner. Um, he was actually South Korean. <laughs> but the point is, all these people are just foreigners. That's what everybody defines them as locally. So be aware, when it says foreigner, it doesn't mean Westerner. It just means literally not from the Philippines. Um, except, like I said, even with the Chinese, they've been there for a very long time. They're still not seen as 100% Filipino. Bit bizarre. Um, but, hey, -ho, you live, live and learn. Now, the reason it's important is over a period of time, you will have stuff that you integrate better with than the guy just getting off the plane. First thing is, if you start talking to your taxi driver and negotiating the price, say things like Lugalang, which is pull over and things like that, you will be treated with a better respect. Um, also, if you're holding a residency card, you're also treated with a bit more respect um, because you're not seen as a tourist there for other reasons because it's still not a major tourist destination for Westerners. If anything, it's primarily focused on internal um, advertising, which is why you see a lot of stuff on the TV, um, on the cable channels, etc. Advertising other places inside the Philippines, which we find bizarre when it should actually be focusing more external. Although you will find them on the odd London bus, uh, come to the Philippines logos, etc. Um, I'm not sure if you can still get a tour, a holiday package though, because I remember when I originally looked in 2007, couldn't get one anywhere. You could get a flight, um, but no tourist packages, nobody flying, you know, no Thomas Cooks or anybody that actually uh, deal in package holidays wanted to touch it with a barge pole. Don't know if it's changed, haven't looked. But <laughs> going off on a tangent, you will always be a foreigner. So just be aware of it. And don't think, well, once I've been there, I'll, I'll be a local blubber. They will never see you as a local. You'll always be somebody half in, half out, or completely out. You will never be a local. Um, if you can accept it, it's fine. Because once you know like that is what it is, you don't have any problems with it. Because um, quite simply, it's also a get-out clause. Because when people dictate uh, things like, oh, well, this is our culture, you can also say, yeah, you're right, it is your culture, it's not mine. So sometimes it works but both ways, so just be aware of it.